YouTube this video might be slightly longer than normal cause there's a lot of explaining and the words don't come to me as fast as everyone else so what we're going to do in this video is answer this question and sorry for being late I did not see this question in time how do you create assemblies to be detailed as an assembly that's a good question the simple answer is you have to weld them together okay you weld the parts you want to be uh, assembled in the shop you weld them together that's a simple explanation now uh, we'll look at the actual drawing here so let's look at this beam closely this beam has got two holes and it's only connected to that plate and that by the bolts so this beam can be separated from this beam can be separated from the plate and that beam okay now and then I put some purlins here too uh, just so that I can show you a different uh, method or a way of doing it this and this are not connected whatsoever so now I'm going to put them together and uh, uh, we'll see what that does so first of all we select that right click uh, go advanced joint properties and we're going to weld these parts together so we go on the welds weld on the main beam you see that says workshop and that's that weld there see that little pink line that's the weld on the main beam which is done in the workshop now if we want this one the secondary beam to be welded to that too we go down here to weld to secondary and click workshop then it will be done on the workshop not on the site so when you take it to the site it's gonna be a complete uh, to th this beam and this beam and that it's gonna be all complete because it was welded in the workshop so we've added that workshop weld now we're going to add another one. Say if we've got a situation like this. Uh, we've got this uh, pearl in here. And the reason I added more is I'm only going to weld one so you can see the rest remain. So uh, you go on the Home tab. And here there's a welding symbol. Okay? The welding point, rather. You click that and you select the objects you want to be welded so you read down there say select objects so you select that one and that one so we're just welding the two okay right click uh, define insertion point of the weld you just do right in the middle here and voila we've got a weld there but we need to make sure this weld is right so we'll go weld definition and here you put shop not site if you put site then they're not connected anymore as they leave the shop so we go shop and uh, that's good enough for now now we're gonna detail this beam and you're gonna see that it's gonna come with everything welded to it so I hope you're following I hope I'm being clear as clear as I can if not let me know I'll go through some of the stuff again uh, so you go quick documents and uh, just uh, this is my own actually this is my own style I made three styles that I use constantly but uh, basically this is a uh, detailing uh, beam so it would be uh, a variation of when you go down to column here it will be a variation of one of these so that's that one there click use and then my scale I'm going to use ooh, a quarter inch to a foot I'm gonna try that uh, I don't know if that's well we'll try that okay and then we're going to select what we want to detail and in this case we know this and this is connected so we just select that see if everything is connected ok 
okay and then uh, right click and we're gonna name that as short for assembly okay uh, we're gonna click OK and uh, we're going to select uh, where we want the details so we know this is connected to that this problem is connected to the beam so we want to see that on the side view and also at the uh, at plate connection there with the stiffener we want to see that view too so we'll select that and then right click and we'll go to the documents and see this is the ass drawing and see what we have okay so we we'll just zoom in there I know this this scale is wrong but I'll zoom in so you can see what is going on uh, at the end we have the beam we have the stiffener and the other beam on the other side okay just like we saw it here here okay so that's that part there and then we also have the purlin that we welded to the main beam okay that's uh, that purlin we welded there this one okay now let's look at uh, something else here the top view this is the top view as you can see this is the top we have that connection there and the pearl in there so if we're looking at our drawing we're looking at this we're looking at this we're looking at this beam that pearl in there and that beam okay we'll go back to drawing verify that so you see that beam that and the front see because they're all welded in the shop you can't separate them anymore and that's obviously the uh, uh, section we pick two points of the section and this one uh, details where the purlin crosses and that one is the end the end beam there so if this answers your question uh, a thumbs up maybe a like uh, you know let me know that this is exactly what you wanted to see and uh, if you have any more questions if I answered your question completely let me know any more questions let me know I will do what I can to answer them in on time it's a pity I didn't get it in time this time but I will try as best in the near future YouTube.